Hey guys, today we are reacting to some photography fails. It's a compilation that a lot of photographers on YouTube have reacted to. Actually, this is the second time that we have tried to record this video. The first time the audio failed, so we're gonna give it another shot. Yep. Here we go. Hey guys, real quick before we get into the video, if you guys think you're gonna like this or if you guys like us so far, or if you've seen some of our stuff in the past and just haven't hit that like and subscribe yet, go ahead and like this video and hit the subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all of our new content. Thanks. Yeah, I think, uh, so, I think this is just a race. Jeez, that looks terrifying. Like, you, th this dude not only almost lost his camera, but lost his life. Right. That is a tip. But look at the points, points to him. Look at that man getting straight to taking pictures again. Like, I don't know, like how close this man's come to death otherwise, but he is, he is peak performance right now. This one we've seen before, this is absolutely crazy. Like, first of all, like, I don't, man. This is hard to just fathom that this would happen at a wedding, but... And like, there's one, two... Three. There's two videographers, a photographer. Is this a... Oh my gosh, well, oh my gosh. Well, no, because I noticed, if you if you go back real quick... Okay. Um, there's a lady in a blue shirt with a DSLR camera. Okay. Right here. Okay, I see her. And then there's another lady with, you know, these two ladies in blue shirts. Uh-huh. They're both... Like they both have cameras. I don't know. Them. Could this be one of those instances where people book multiple photographers and videographers? Yes, because there's like three photographers and two videographers. We have so a we have a clause cool. in our contract that's the exclusive photographer, ex exclusive videographer for the video mm -hmm. for the day, um, people and other other photographers and videographers. You only hire one, and it's because there can be a little bit of tension um, between your different photography or your different videography teams if you hire more than one photo and video team, mm -hmm. and you don't want that. Yeah. Um, they, they they know we all know the good shots that we want to get and they're often the same right yeah. and so we end up stepping over each other if you hire multiple different crews mm -hmm. um, it's honestly just best like if you're if you're gonna hire uh, if you have a budget and you can fit <laughs> either one good photographer in that or two decent photographers mm -hmm. you know just go with the one good photographer because yeah. you don't want them fighting over those shots this could this is entertaining to watch as a guy like who likes street fights but as a photographer and videographer, it terrifies me. Especially like, when he throws the camera. Oh my gosh, that makes my heart just drop, oh dude. Gosh. Cause you know that camera, like the, I, I don't know a lot about shoulder rip mounted cameras, mm -hmm. but those things look expensive. Like I can't, I can't fathom. Cringe. Oh, absolutely. And this little sign that pops up says make love, not war. At a wedding specifically, like what's going on? Then there's the video camera. Oh my gosh, and who are uh, you? Shoe? What is that? Is that the camera? That's a camera that he just threw at the ground? Oh it's my, a wedding too, remember? Oh my gosh. Wow. That little meme in the corner that's like, ah. That, man. This one I can, I can kind of understand. You know, he's a, he's a sports photographer and you you kind of understand right. like he's still, that you're in the way. He's yeah, he's still, doing his job. He's still going at it. You him. go, bro. You go, bro. Yeah, he said he's still taking pictures. Yeah. Rugby's a tough sport. Like those dudes, when they hit you, they, they're going full force. Well, and I feel sorry for the rugby player sliding on the, oh. on the turf. Hey, he kind of saved that. I think it's a 200 mil oh. lens that he's got there. He kind of saved it. It was. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. Sorry, dude. Feels bad. Pheasant. You're literally okay. So, there's an instance where like her nest is probably somewhere. You think maybe he's trying to get photos of it? Either that or like, you know, the pheasant in particular, but. The way she just attacked him, like she would have flown away if she didn't have like a nest nearby. Yeah, she would have been like, okay, it's not worth it. Maybe I should just get out of here. Right. But I've also seen chickens. Chickens are stubborn, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's a golf course. She probably attacks people all day. She's used to it. She's coming after you, brother. You done pissed her Jeez. off. Jeez. And you got that freaking long zoom lens too. Yeah, she could have. Back up. <laughs> yeah, right. It didn't look like, yeah, I, okay, we've all done that. We've all done this. Uh, Why is my camera not working? Why is my camera? Oh, the lens cap. I've done that one too many times. Yeah. It's a big trophy. Oh my gosh. I hate fall. Ah, you're fine. Someone else get the shot. There's like a hundred photographers there. I've seen this one. And this lady, like, man, look, this is, this is a true mark, in my opinion, of a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. You, a professional photographer will have the right gear. This uh, this lady is probably just a hobbyist, which is just fine. Yeah. But 
if you're gonna be a hobbyist even and you're gonna go to stuff like this, have a good zoom lens, have like a, a 7200, even just like the yeah. 7300 cheap zoom lens, mm -hmm. right? And, and back up and get the shot you want, but get back, okay? Oh um, Cause yes. she's putting herself in all sorts of danger. Well, and especially being so low like that on the edge, like mm. he can't even see you, so he's like, you know, going yeah. up over this ledge, and you could have easily gotten run over. I know on this freeze frame that I kind of stopped on, like it almost looks like she's gotten she's gotten run over, but she's not. She's not under the wheel. And you'll see all these people over here, except for this guy, which is probably her husband, uh, getting mad at her, not this guy, right? Because yeah. she's she's the one making the the scene and the danger. Yeah. And he throws a bottle, but all these people over here are gonna be like, "What are you doing, stupid?" Yeah. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't really... Is that even a camera? Are those... No, that is a camera. That yeah, she's got a little camera. I thought it was there. binoculars at first. I was like, what are you, what are you looking at? I, like, are you I think you got a leak. I'm going to check real quick. binoculars? Oh. And there we go. Forgot about that part. Liability. Yep. <laughs> we'll bleep that out. This one's hard to see, guys. I this one this one breaks my heart. This I, one makes I, me cringe. This is a cringe-worthy clip. We have in our contracts, and everybody should have it in their contracts that they that the the photographer it is not on us to um, figure out where we're allowed to shoot on. The bride and groom have got to figure out that we are allowed or are not allowed to shoot photo and video at a certain place. Yeah. This priest is not about it. Like yeah. he turns around and he gets really, really angry. And I, if this was me in this situation, I don't know about you, I would have looked past the priest and I would have looked at the bride and groom and I'd have been like, hey, this is your call. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, do you want sure. me to leave? Because if there is something that we've agreed on mm -hmm. that I'm gonna get a picture for them, like, like what's probably happening here is they're probably waiting for the kiss. Mm -hmm. And then the priest should step out of the way. Yeah. And the photographer should be able to get this kiss and then get their guests in the mm -hmm. background. It's a it's a photo yeah. that we're asked for all the time. Yeah, exactly. It's a very common photo like that behind, you know, getting the audience reaction of the kiss. Absolutely. And, and everybody's usually cheering and hooping and hollering. Yeah, and for sure. You got your family on both sides supporting you and it's a yeah. fantastic photo. But Good this thing. priest takes it to the next level. Okay. <laughs> Please, sir, leave. Watch the smile just drain off of that groom's face. Anywhere other than here. The slow motion of it and the, the jaw drops. Yeah. Assembly, not a photography session. Please. Yeah, and then the bride and groom like look at each other like, what do we do? <laughs> My boy, close your mouth, you're gonna catch a fly. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Stop the ceremony if you do not get out of the way. <laughs> we are hired to be here, brother. Yeah, I was. I w now, now, you know. <laughs> I say, I talk a big game, but there's a good chance that I would honestly just walk away yeah. too. Yeah. Because otherwise he's gonna make a scene. Yeah. Even more. What oh is this gosh. one? There was a photographer. Oh, just uh, way too close. <laughs> yeah. If you trust the drivers, you trust the drivers. Oh, frick! He had his back turned. He had it, he had it coming. Oh, that's no joke. This is super cool. This monkey, this is monkey knows what a camera is. Yeah. He's like, hey, take a picture. Or maybe he's just mimicking. Maybe it's, maybe I'm giving him too much credit and he's just kind of mimicking. Yeah. This one's loud. It's a lot of smoke. Yeah, watch this guy. Watch, watch this guy right down here. Watch this guy. It just gets taken out. So yeah. It sucks to be that guy. It, yeah, it must really suck to be that guy. But yeah, he's okay. It didn't get hit, hit really too fast. Oh. There we go. Yeah, she's gonna like that photo. She'll probably like that photo, just of the of her hands and her face like that. <laughs> that's a fun thing. What happens here? Oh, that's right. He's getting it's chased like by like bees or something, bees right? Bees or insects or gnats or something. Yeah. Something. Annoying. You ever just you ever just walk into a, a, a cloud of like gnats? All the time. And then all of a sudden you can't get out of it. They're following you. I wish you would have given us some closure on what that was. Oh, this seems like a skit to me. This doesn't though. Anybody who's Dang. ever been out birding. Anywhere that's worth birding at. Birding? Birding. Taking photos of birds. Okay. Anywhere that's Never worth that going. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, it's what it's called. Um, anyone's ever been out birding, like, you'll get attacked by birds every now and then. Like, you'll find a bird that's just super unhappy with you being in its presence. Uh, there's a place here in Oklahoma City called Riversport, and on the top of the, on the, top of the yeah. sky trail is a bird that'll swoop down to people and do this to them. Yeah. So you can't even get pictures of it. He'll just attack oh you. Oh my gosh. Quick thinking, brother. Quick thinking. 
That could have jacked you up. So glad he's wearing yellow and not like green. Oh, that's right. I remember this clip. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Do not do this. Oh my God. Yeah, no. That, No. he ain't playing with you. And I'm pretty sure it's an elk. Oh. Ah, oh, brother. <laughs> he said, I'm eating, I'm eating me some meat after this one. No joke. Like, there's a wildlife refuge here in Oklahoma, and we go to it all the time. Yeah. And, you know, Rob, he's always like, oh my gosh, I need to get a photo of that longhorn or that buffalo or something like that. And, you know, or bison. And, you know, I'm always like, well, be careful because you never know when. When it's going to strike. When it's going to, you know, not feel comfortable with you being around anymore. And so, like, for real, y'all, like, be careful when you're taking photos of animals. That it's might actually thing. happen to me one day just because I really like to get to not have a 100 or 400 mm -hmm. uh, that, I, that I that I like to use. But it's, I, one thing I really want to get is, like, you know, I can probably get a, I can get a, like, up to 600 mm -hmm. pretty, pretty easy. They're not yeah. that expensive. But I want to get inside. I want to get a photo of them inside their mouth. That's, that's the reason I get so close. Because mm -hmm. what I want to do is I want to get them chewing the grass. And I think that would be a really nice photo. Yeah. Or, I mean, it's going to be really gross. But it's gonna, I'd like to get it. One of these times, I'm going to get charged by a bison or, yeah. or one of those longhorns. You're in their space. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, make sure that you use caution whenever you're taking photos of wild animals. Absolutely. Now, I've seen this what is, one. Oh, is this the fountain one? This one is the fountain one. Oh. And it, it breaks Yeah, this is, this is all on the photographer. Ooh. And he's, he looks like an older gentleman. Uh, and he's got tons and tons of experience. He's got great gear, or had great gear. Um, he has insurance more than likely, so he'll be fine. But that that 7200 is gone. I want to look at the bride's face. To, what is what's her expression? Or the, have they already turned? It's kind of blurry. Oh, 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 they do see it, and they're just like, "Hey, not our problem. We got to go." Right. That's fair. Yeah. That's totally fair. <laughs> I do forget that. Oh, this is the elephant. Oh man. Gosh. Again, use caution, especially with ones with horns. <laughs> now, I can't tell if it's the elephant making this noise or if it's the, the photographer. Listen. I think that's the elephant. You thought it was the mm -hmm. photographer last time, but I'm pretty sure it's the elephant. Mm -hmm. This is funny. They got to know each other because I don't see any... I don't see anybody... So she's laughing. Yeah, and she, and she stays laughing. And she stays laughing. She's, She's like, very lighthearted about it. So I can only imagine that that was a joke between friends. I, I, I said this the last time we tried to record this, but I do that. I used to do this. I don't do it as much anymore. But like, I, I really, when I first started taking photos, like I was like really in there and I was moving around, kind of trying to be slick and stuff. Yeah. But this guy's got it going on. He, you put some music to this boy, he's dancing around. He's getting it. Well, and honestly, like, sometimes photographers do stuff like this to, like, <laughs> keep leg. them, like, smiling. Yeah. And, th like, and that's... kind of catch them off guard and kind of keep it, like, candid. Absolutely. And make it entertaining. Yeah. Oh, get that booger. Well, I, if it's got to go, it's got to go. I just don't, don't, don't do it in public. Right. And wash your hands. That's another bird attack. This poor guy. Yeah. Holy cow. He came in for the kill. He's coming back, though. There he is. Boom. Bruh. It's probably that's, one of those you ones. Look, if you get a picture of that dude swooping in at you, that's going to be a good picture. Mm -hmm. Wow. Go wide. I say go wide, fast shutter, and just get him hitting that lens almost. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. This is why I love I think, I think that's, what he's, that's what he's trying to. I bet, he, I bet he got the best photo in the world. No joke. Yeah. And he's got all that snow and ice around him, so it's going to be even brighter. Oh, did he? Yeah, sacrifices. She has her family up there, I guess, and mm -hmm. she's defending them bravely. Good girl. Yeah. You go. You go, mama. Yeah. And did it with great success. Yeah. Man. I've seen those pictures, those videos of, like, birds taking goats off of hills, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, I, it wouldn't surprise me if an if a eagle could take, or if the, whatever this bird is, could knock him over. <laughs> the road, sniffing around, and then, yes, standing up. Here we go. Look, I'll hire him. I'll hire that boy. If he can, if he can take a, if he can even take, if he can just point the camera and click it, I don't care what the settings are. I'll fix it. Yeah. Oh, frick. Gosh. Some of these look like uh, skits to me. Yeah. Like this looks like a skit to me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He just went whoop. Oh, that'd have been a great photo to have. Oh gosh. The horns. Again. 
Oh, that's a bad one too. What is like, that? That's when you what is get that called? Up and run. What is that called? It's got two, a... just two horns. Yeah. Would that be a gazelle? It's like an elk. Well, yeah, it kind of looks like an elk to me. But it's only got two horns. I don't know. I don't know animals well enough. But yeah, there we are, guys. That's the uh, that's a video we've tried to record before, but it's just the photography fails. Mm -hmm. um, and there, you know, there's gonna be more uh, compilations like this. And if you guys like this, then we'll we'll do another one. Uh, it's a lot of fun for us because we get to kind of analyze what's yeah. going on, uh, and yeah. we kind of been in some of those situations, at least at least the wedding scene. the wedding scenes specifically, and some of the some of the animal ones. Mm -hmm. um, but if you guys like this. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, kind of follow us. Let us uh, let us entertain you guys some more if this helped out. And we will uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace.